I'm pretty excited. These babies just came in. They are the core home fitness adjustable dumbbells that go from as low as five pounds to as high as uh, 50 pounds with a twist of the handle. For example, this is uh, 15 pounds right over here. And the way it works is that when you twist, this rod extends, grabbing the weights, and as you twist it the other way, it retracts and decreases it for a, a lighter dumbbell. Now, if you're not in the market, you wouldn't know this, but getting dumbbells is like getting trying to get Clorox disinfectant wipes, okay? Everyone's trying to get them. I've been trying for four months to get dumbbells, uh, and I had to enter a lottery that Core Fitness does uh, to, to be able to win the right to be able to even buy them because they're in such high demand. And for the past four months, I've been using these resistance bands, which have been great. Uh, you can pretty much do anything that you can do with dumbbells. Uh, work out for your shoulders, your triceps, your, your legs. I mean, really runs the gambit. Uh, but sometimes you just want a nice heft of, of a dumbbell. So I'm um, as excited as if M. Rylan got a new shipment of yarn, okay? But I, I want to, to convey that, first of all, I have never been someone that's really into working out, but especially these past four months, this has sort of been my, sort of my solace and, and my, my therapy, really, with what's been going on with the, the quarantine and the virus and socially, what you read in, uh, on the social media is just helps me reset my mind uh, especially this guy the heavy bag uh, I'm not an overly uh, aggro guy but sometimes just you just want to do wailing on something I only do it for like maybe 15 minutes every every um, other day or so and it's now when I'm done I like my mind is like it's it's at peace <laughs> uh, and, uh, but I also wanted to convey that even though I have all this equipment, the best things that I found are just stuff that I've cobbled together from the internet that you can pretty much find with any household items that you can do for yourself. So I wanted to share some of that with you to maybe help with uh, your guys' physical and mental uh, states uh, because really they, they, they are probably even though I have spent money on you know equipment um, you can really get a good workout um, from just putting together some stuff that you, you have in your home probably already all right so here we go now the first thing is just simply getting two chairs uh, make sure they have sort of a, a handle or space to put something through it. And I put this uh, bar, you can use like a broomstick. I'm using a metal bar that uh, it's part of my daughter's softball equipment that uh, she doesn't need, so I've been using that. And what you do is you grab it from the sides here because you don't want it to potentially snap if you're grabbing in the middle. Grab it here, make sure it's secure, make sure you got enough room. It's not like that where you gotta fall through. Okay, we're good. And you're gonna do some pull-ups, which is good for the chest. Nice and up and easy. Nice control down. And then you can switch, do some chin-ups, which is great for the biceps. Usually like 10 of these are good. Four reps, three or four reps. And then once you're done with that, take the bar out. And you can, you're already set up to do some dips for triceps. My wife just came in. Now another exercise you can do is to get one of these uh, storage containers. This is a 17 gallon one. I just got it at Lowe's. Uh, I already had them in my garage, but uh, these were black and yellow, and as you can see, I've got like a black and yellow theme going on. 
so it was kind of perfect, it was like five bucks. Uh, but you fill it up with uh, whatever heavy stuff you've got. I happen to have, I had like a mismatch of dumbbells. Uh, so I had like a 35s and 10s, so I just load those up because I'm not really gonna use these anymore. And uh, you can put as much, as heavy, as light as you wanna go. Uh, you can you put in uh, like a 25 pound bag of rice, potatoes, parsley. Don't no, don't do parsley. That's that would be a lot of parsley. Uh, so then you just close it all up, and then I have these little S hooks. I attach them onto the holes that are here, or you can just have the open lip, uh, perhaps, and get a bigger hook and hook it into. Um, whatever situation you have for the storage container. Then use the carabiners um, to hook on to them. And then I have a, this is a battle rope, which is an exercise rope, but you could really use any rope um, that you buy at, at, at a hardware store. And then what I use it then for is a, a push and pull situation. So. I would do this for the length of my garage, and this is really good for the arms and the shoulders. Pull this towards you, and then for your legs, pushing it back into place. I saw Chris Hemsworth do this with an 80 pound uh, punching bag. He would just be dragging it and pushing it. I'm like, what else could I do? I don't want to keep taking off my punching bag uh, to do the same. So. This weight sled is a, another good option. Another thing that you can do is to, if you don't want to use the rope, what I do is for, for shoulder work is I pull it for the length of the floor and then I push it and it's really great, it's really great. <laughs> It's a really good, great uh, exercise uh, to do. Now, you can also put in furniture sliders if it's too heavy, uh, but you want some friction to give you some sort of, some weight, but you can make it easier by putting furniture sliders under. Another one you can do, just have to watch your back, this is for your back, is pulling this way. And um, with that rope situation, um, what I didn't show you is you can also put the ropes behind you and pull like a, like a workhorse. Uh, so those are all great exercises for something that really your cost is only the cost of a, of a storage container and you can load it up really with, with anything that you want. Now I mentioned furniture sliders. If you've got those, I saw uh, Mark Wahlberg do this uh, with his workout. And I was like, hey, I, I got furniture sliders. So I actually called these, this workout, my wall burger sliders. Uh, just, now that this is weighted down, it's not gonna move anywhere. Keep your balls or your feet on the furniture slider. And do this maybe 20, 20, 25 times. Great for your abs, but mostly for your thighs, because it really burns. <laughs> It's really, it really burns. Screw you, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. 